Hey guys, Alberto Rio here. I'm on my way to Santa Fe, which is a part of Mexico City. I've been in Mexico City for the last couple days. It's an amazing city, beautiful, gorgeous. Um, didn't know this, but it's number two in the world behind Paris only as having the most museums. I mean, there's art on every corner, there's museums everywhere, great, a lot of culture, the food is amazing. I, I really um, recommend that you come check out Mexico City. Very international too, as you walk around, you hear people you know, speaking German and French and English, of course, Spanish, uh, but there's people from all over the world doing business here. It's a pretty cool place. Now, I'm on the way from Polanco, which they call it kind of like the Beverly Hills of Mexico City, over to Santa Fe, which is where Grant Cardone is going to be speaking tomorrow at the Santa Fe Expo, it's called, uh, in front of a few thousand people. And I'm going to be meeting with him. Um, I have a one-on-one -on -one with him at his hotel. Super excited just uh, in a little bit, in a few hours, a little bit later today. But I figured I'd shoot this video and, and really talk about the environment, you know. We know that our environment is very, very important. Um, we are a product of our environment, right? But over the last few days, one of the things that I've noticed right away is, you know, I'm used to, to living on the beach, which today is, it's a dream come true. Uh, something I worked very hard for, for, for a very long time. But one of the things that I've noticed just from being here a few days in the middle of the city, you know, my throat has a little tickle. I'm not sick, but my throat has a little tickle. I have, um, you know, I've been getting kind of like a runny nose where I have to blow it all the time. And I've been talking to some of the locals here and, and they're talking about, you know, if I'm not used to it, it's, it's the pollution. Um, I can tell that my energy levels have been affected a little bit as well. Um, and so I want to talk about the environment. I'm just going to share with you three things that you can do, three hacks we can call them, that you can do right away, or at least two out of the three you can do right away, um, to be more productive in your business, to love what you do more, to look forward to going to the office. And the first thing, since we're talking about air, uh, you know, air is very important. And one of the things that I noticed in my room is I'm meditating every morning in the air-conditioned room, and you know, it's at a, at a nice hotel. The levels of oxygen are a lot lower. You know, I could feel myself as I'm meditating and taking these long breaths that I, I usually do counts as I'm holding my breath, you know, and I'm having the energy go through my body and I cannot hold my breath as long as I usually can. And so make sure, number one, is having fresh air. Make sure that you're in a clean environment. Ideally, if you can have fresh air outdoors, you know, we live right on the beach today, which is great. We have all the doors open, um, all the doors are sliding, they disappear into the walls, and we just have fresh air coming from the ocean. And that's the very best you can have. It's literally, depending where you're at, it's been filtered through thousands and thousands of miles of ocean water, and you get this pure, clean, fresh air that's full of energy. And man, it's, it's one of the things that I can tell that I sleep better at night with that ocean air during the day. Um, I mean, uh, you can just feel the energy uh, from that live organic air, you know? So if you haven't already, you know, get yourself maybe outside a, a big city and then go out in the country a little bit where the oxygen levels are a lot higher. Also studies show that oxygen levels helps us to relax, right? There's oxygen therapy now where they give you oxygen, you're able to relax, it relaxes your body more, you're able to focus more, stamina. So number one, guys, fresh air. Now, the second thing that I wanna talk about is lighting. Make sure that you have a lot of natural light. That's another thing that, again, you know, maybe this is a, an ad to move to the beach, but being at the beach, we have that natural sunlight. We have our sunrise going up over the ocean in the morning. One thing that I don't get sick of looking at, I film it every single day. And having that natural sunlight is amazing. Again, it you know it releases the good, the good stuff, the good drugs that our body makes, right? From dopamine and um, all that kind of stuff, which makes you feel good. It's the make you feel good drug. Of course, you got vitamin D and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're not able to be at the beach, it's okay. Just make sure that you don't have fluorescent lighting. A lot of these big offices, even some gyms that I've traveled to, have fluorescent lighting. Fluorescent lighting will zap your energy away. And some houses have them, some apartments have them, some offices have them because they save energy. They save on the electric bill, but it, it's not worth it. Trust me on that. It, it wreaks havoc with your nervous system and it's just, it's horrible for you. So if you can't be out on the beach again, you know, just make sure you don't have 
any fluorescent lighting get rid of it and that's going to help you a lot but hopefully you can have a maybe a nice big room with some nice big windows get some natural light in and that's going to help you enjoy your work day a lot more so now the third thing is to have a nice view now this might be the one that might take a little bit while longer i know it took me a while to have that nice view um, studies have shown that when people when humans are looking out into a nice view kind of looking out ideally into nature far away it puts our life in perspective our perception changes about our problems maybe the challenges that we're having throughout the day it completely changes it makes us realize that we're kind of a small thing in this in this huge world this huge world, uh, universe of ours so do your best to get yourself a nice view um, again, that might be a little bit a little bit tougher depending where you're living now. Maybe you can just position your desk in an open area. Maybe uh, if you have to stare at a wall, maybe you can put a nice painting or a nice picture of a beach before you, you get to actually get there. I, I did that before, actually years ago. I had a nice picture at the beach. I would have one on my uh, screensaver as well as on the wall that I would just stare at. And I knew someday I'm going to have that nice view. And so I think overall, just make it a place that you look forward to. You know, my office, you, you see people whose office is in their home and they put it like, you know, in a corner somewhere, in a dark corner. You can tell that they, they basically don't, don't like what they do very much, you know? Um, you want to put it somewhere where it's like the center of attention. It lets people know that it's something that's very important to you. My office right now is at the best place at my home. It's right in front, it's on the second floor, it's a, our home is two stories, it's in front of this huge glass window just looking straight out into the ocean. So I have that amazing view just looking out, clean air, fresh air, natural lighting all day long, and I just cannot wait to go sit at my desk. That's my, my favorite part of the house. It really is. It's, um, you know, my second place with my, my kids, maybe downstairs on the couch playing with them. But, uh, but I gotta tell you, nothing beats where I put my office, just looking straight out, miles and miles and miles of ocean, fresh air coming in. I have a sliding door right next to me that I keep wide open, so I have fresh air coming in, beautiful sunlight, and I gotta tell you, man, I just, I look forward to getting to work, and I stay there longer because it's such an amazing place. So hopefully uh, you can do one or, or two or, or all three of these things, and it's something that you can do right away, change your environment it's going to change your productivity help you with stamina and guys this is alberto can't wait to tell you uh what happens with my meeting here with grant cardone we're about to disrupt the insurance industry and we'll see you on the next video